and now we are going to see about the summary of uh, data objects and attribute uh, attributes first we started with what is data objects there we saw what is data set what is data object what are the various examples for uh, data objects and uh, what are the various other names for uh, data object and in database what is the row contributing to and what is the column contributing to everything we discussed in data objects next we moved to attributes there we saw various um, what is meant by attribute and uh, what is the uh, various attribute for a uh, single data object and then we moved to the various types of attributes there we discussed about nominal attribute binary attribute ordinal attribute and ratio scaled sorry numeric attribute the numeric is again categorized into two one is interval scaled and uh, second one is uh, ratio scaled nominal binary and ordinal attributes or uh, qualitative attributes and numeric attribute is quantitative attribute only the numerical attribute uh, you can uh, have specific values whereas in binary nominal and ordinal you can't have specific values this nominal attribute is also called as categorical attribute binary attribute is called as boolean attribute ordinal attribute provides you the ranking but you can't uh, uh, significantly measure the value between the two values to but between the two items or anything whereas in numeric attribute you can uh, measure the value between the two objects what you specify and uh, apart from the nominal binary ordinal and numeric you can also categorize the attributes as discrete and continuous attributes and now we are going to see the assessment questions students you have to submit this assessment questions before you come to the class on monday that is july 4th before july 4th you have to submit this first question is you need to identify minimum 3 data objects for a bank database here the domain given to you is banking and you consider a ba bank database uh, at least minimum 3 data objects you have to find you can find more than 3 but minimum 3 is mandatory and next question is list the attributes for the above identified data objects for the above identified uh, data objects of the bank database for each data object you have to come with several data attributes and next list what are the various types of attributes this is just a recalling question for you and next is you need to identify the types of attributes for the following data objects so employee designation is a data object you have to find to which uh, category to which type of uh, attribute it belongs to for example if i given here as marital status you have to find what are the values for the marital status it can be single or married or widow or divorced hence you, you, you should come to a conclusion that it belongs to nominal or categorical attribute similarly you have to find the type of attribute for employee designation visa test pin code and calendar dates so pause the video here you go through all the questions come out with your own answers and uh, submit the answers in our table before you come to the class on monday thank you